What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Soho at Stadium Goods with Gucci Man. Well, back in the day when I was hustling, mm -hmm. the joints was costing like $90, $100. Joe, what's happening? What up, man? Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Get to see what he's feeling, what he's not. These right here are so fucking hard. I'm talking about this. And then uh, hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. I got to. Let's go. Let's get it. So Gucci, yeah. what do you think the weight loss has done for your fashion? It gave me more confidence. A lot of things that I wouldn't wear, and now I'm, I'm willing to try. How does it affect what sneakers you pick out and, and things like that and how you get dressed every day? I usually wear a lot of low top shoes, but at the same time, I love joints and I can wear them in high tops. But these right here, yeah. I feel like these are something I just got to have. Yeah. They, they just look good, they busted, and I haven't seen nobody wear these. So I feel like if I bring these to Atlanta, I'm gonna have people asking me about these. How important do you think it is to keep innovating in every kind of step of the game and every aspect of the game? You gotta do what you're comfortable with, but at the same time, man, you gotta brand yourself as, as being your own different entity. What's more original than what you put on your feet? Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Let's walk down here, let's talk about Jordans. So Gucci, we're in the Jordan section. Which classics do you really gravitate to? These right here. Yeah. These came out when I was in high school. Yeah. I remember I got these right here and like I crushed the school with that. Right, yeah. These are right here, these these are busting. Can't go wrong with these right here. Nope, it's a classic. Um, what are your favorite Jordans? My favorite Jordans are like the ones with the wings on. Yeah. So I don't know the what, twos. what numbers are. No, the one. Well, the ones and, and the twos. No, I call out. these wings. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> I got a little confused. So yeah. the fours with the kind of like the straps. Yeah. What are your earliest memories of wearing these and when you could have got those? The red ones came out first, then the blue ones. And I remember, I, I knew I was in fourth grade and I came to school and I had both of them on at the same time, one red shoe and one Oh, blue really? Shoe. Mismatch? Yeah. Okay. So that was one of my early memories of, uh, of enjoying fours right then. What is it like fitting into Balmain and Givenchy and, and Hugo Boss and basically things that you see on the runway, but you mix it up and you put, you know, you're wearing Balenciaga sweatsuit with Jordans. Yeah, it's fun, man. Like, you know, you get up, you wake up in the morning and you think about like, what am I gonna wear today? What's gonna be, what's gonna crush in the day? And then you can, it's something you can plan for and keep people guessing. You never want people to think they got you figured out. Running sneakers, you know, traditionally they used to be kind of bland. Now, what do you think about all the colors you see for runners? These right here? Yeah. Are so fucking hard. Yeah. I'm talking about this. And these right here too. Yeah, gold and silver. Yeah, I gotta get these two right here. These are amazing. Like, I ain't never seen these right here, man. Like, they got some crazy shoes in here. Yeah. Where does your love for Air Max 95s derive from? Well, back in the day when I was hustling, the joints was costing like $90, $100, but Air Max 95s were costing like $130 or $140 or $149 back then. So they used to be my thing, you know what I'm saying? When everybody was wearing Air Pegasus and New Balance, I'll make sure I had some 95s. I want to separate myself from all the other hustlers on the corner. I used to get every pair of Air Max 95s that came out. And I used to go to Walters or go to the mall. They already was waiting on me before I got there and know what I wanted. You know, you're in New York, you're off house arrest. Yeah. When you developed a obsession with online shopping, were you doing sneakers too or sneakers were coming to the crib? I was buying sneakers. Um, I do a lot of, I follow Stadium Goods and I was checking out a lot of y'all stuff. Like even these shoes right here, I got them from Stadium Goods. So, okay. Um, I just love to shop online, man. It's like I can go to, I can go to 40 stores. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Right there in my house. So it's just super convenient, and at the same time, you can get some really exclusive stuff by just shopping online. Let me ask you, are you a three-day shipping person or an overnight type of sh shipping? Sometimes when I order stuff, I need to get it right away. I, I got to have it next day. Yeah, I hear you. I don't care how much it costs. When I want some, I don't care what it costs, I need it. So Gucci, mm -hmm. our friends at Stadium Goods put together a special display for you. They knew you were coming. Yeah. Um, it's called Gucci's Sneaker Archive. One question that I wanted to know, what happened to the sneakers you had when you went away? Did someone store them for you or did you just start over when you got out? I had them in my storage. Okay. And uh, a lot of them are just, I only wore like one time. So mm -hmm. I might get a chance to wear them again. 
But at the same time, I give away, I give away a lot of shoes. Who gets them when you're? I, I got a younger brother. I gave him some. I got little partners. I just be giving them with anybody who have like my train. I give him some. So, or I give a bunch to to to, uh, to some mothers to give to some kids. Wow. I just spread them around to anybody I get in contact with. I interviewed Fat Joe for this and. We talked about the footwear in jail and how tough it was. He even said that, you know, um, Jordan sandals weren't allowed. Wow. What were you wearing in jail? Oh, man, they had like very basic Nikes. Uh, I used to work out in some Under Armour shoes. Okay. Like whatever they did have, I bought them and you know what I'm saying? I made the most out of it. But even in there, you still want to be fresh, man. That's just right. something that just never goes away, man. How did you buy those? Just like buying commissary, you okay. know what I'm saying? They be selling shoes for $79, $69. So I'll buy me a pair every other day. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. work out in them and throw them away or give them to somebody else. So Gucci, we talked about everything. We talked about growing up. We talked about Jordans. Now it's time, the easy part, for you to look around, shop, and buy some sneakers. That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. You them dope, man, Nikes. Easy E motherfucker right here. Got to have them. I need these 95s right here. I done bought these 10 times old. These them guys. God damn, I need my this. Yeah, I need these. Man. I gotta get these too. What the damage is? That's gonna be $2,531.34. Okay. That's all? So, as you guys can see, Gucci came through, bought a bunch of different sneakers. Wattober 1017. Thanks for coming through, man. Thank y'all for having me. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Burp!